Hey guys, a multitude of dancers wrap up a movie about Liberace. A fame-inspired new TV show is in the works, and a 91-year-old dance teacher fights a burglar. So much more in this week's dish. So don't go anywhere. Choreographer Marguerite Derricks is just getting back from Sin City, where she just wrapped up yet another movie gig. Directed by Steven Soderbergh, Behind the Candelabra follows the story of pianist Liberace, and will be featuring Matt Damon and Michael Douglas, as well as 52 dancers. You heard me, 52. How's that for giving us jobs? In the movie, you'll also catch Debbie Reynolds as Liberace's mother, Frances. Wouldn't it be great if she was part of the dance number? I have three words for you. Ice, ice, baby. Yeah, I'm going there because Vanilla Ice recently signed a deal with Zumba, releasing a special remix video that will play in classes across the US. The original features the 90s hunt, giving it with party choreo that along with Hammer influenced the dance scene for the entire era. He works up a sweat looking real GQ and causing the ladies to swoon while the men emulate his dance floor swag. Go white boy, go white boy, go. Nigel Lithgow keeps popping them out. New shows, that is. It is said that he's working on a new TV series based on the classic fame movie. Set in present day, it will follow a group of students yearning for stardom no matter what they may lose along the way. Star of the original show, Debbie Allen, claims that Nigel has been working towards this for quite some time. I don't know, what do you guys think? Will it be another rehash, or could it be sensational? We've now got four dancers who are totally different from each other, yes. which, which I find remarkable. Uh, we've got Eliana, who's a really well-trained and great performer. We've got Keon, well-trained, was never a great performer, but has suddenly found a way to bring his heart out there. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, I, we've got Tiffany, who is the girl next door. She doesn't threaten anybody, you know, mm -hmm. people will love her for that. Mm -hmm. And we've got this kid called Cyrus, who is not a great dancer, who has persevered mm -hmm. through so much. He's lost all of his friends. When they dropped by the wayside, he carried on. Uh, and here he is going into the final of So You Think You Can Dance. I was standing there, I was praying. I was like, Lord, help me be okay with whatever the result is. Ooh, okay. Honestly, because I want to be able to be okay with the no because it's obviously meant that God has a different plan for me. I'll be okay with the yes because that's exciting as well. So my solo, um, I have character inspirations for all my pieces. Um, this one was inspired by angels as you could tell, you know. And the, now it was supposed to be about the reaper. Um, mm -hmm. And so, I don't know, I was just trying to get into how how a reaper would move if it if it was to dance. I was incredibly intimidated by, be, you know, being in the top three with Cole and Cyrus because they are so popular and, and just both incredible, incredible dancers. And, and to work with these choreographers, like it's a dream mm -hmm. watching the show and just seeing them and growing up and like to be in the same room with them, like I'm honestly starstruck every week. Oh, well, the first time I saw that package was the show. So, oh, really? You guys yeah. Seen before. No, I didn't get to see it, oh, but okay. that was the first time I saw it. And so I like was literally in my beginning pose and I was like about to cry and I was like, <gasps> so, 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 so. I love you, mama. And you like, really, you helped me just grow as a man, like from a boy and just follow my dream with everything I have in my body and soul. So it's just, it's just amazing. This year, the Australian Dance Awards was for the first time held in Perth and live streamed across the nation. The evening hosted performances including the Australian Ballet, Australian Dance Theatre, and Barry Moreland's Helix, who picked up two awards. Some of the award recipients were Natalie Weir, Sean Parker and Company, Bangara Dance Theatre, and Nanette Hassel, who was presented with a Lifetime Achievement Award. Overall, an exciting night down on that. Did you know that the Australian Dance Awards originated in 1986 from a simple gathering called the Dancers' Picnic for International Dance Day? However, it wasn't until nine years later that the actual celebration became official at the Sydney Opera House. A 
Simone here bringing you another dance plug exclusive sitting right here to the one and only Paul Becker. Well, I started out as a dancer. It's actually a break dancer. And uh, at the age of 12, I kind of followed some girls into a dance class. And uh, the teacher kind of scooped me up into all styles. And from then on, I, I you know, performed around, performed in Vegas. I moved to Vegas when I was a teenager. So I was 17 years old. And um, then I moved to Vancouver to train acting and train dance and be on film. I wanted to do movies. And I started assisting a choreographer, and I just and I realized I was you know enjoying it and loving the process of being a choreographer. And uh, I got a job as a dancer on a on a commercial opposite Kate Beckinsale, and I was doing a salsa piece with her. And the choreographer didn't show up, so I was like, "I'll do it." Hey, <laughs> and they hired me as a choreographer, and that was like my first like break into choreography. For me, choreography is not just, I mean, dancers, you know, you're doing steps, you're performing. To me, choreography is not just about steps. Mm -hmm. Steps are for a dance class. To me, chore vocabulary is 10, 25% of what a choreographer does. I just recommend for everyone just to be humble and, and stay persistent and be on top of your business. Right on, right on. <laughs> And for those choreographers that are trying to take it to the next level, obviously the same thing. You got to be on top of your stuff. You obviously got to be on top of your stuff, but uh, you obviously have to learn everything. Mm -hmm. Learn what it takes to be a stage choreographer, how to pull focus with lighting, mm -hmm. how to tell a story on stage, how to tell a story on film. Corey Lilly grew up dancing in Virginia and headed off to Shenandoah Conservatory to get her BFA in dance. While studying there, she had the opportunity to work with artists from Trisha Brown Dance Company, Trey McIntyre Project, City Dance Ensemble, and so many more. Corey has also expanded her experience at things like the Arcos Dance Summer Choreography Workshop and Leon Dance Arts New York Summer Intensive. She's ready to jump right into a professional dancing career. It is time to lose yourself in Malaya's advanced lyrical combo, Separate Lives. Challenge yourself by working on integrating emotion into those tough technical moments. There's always that one song. It comes on the radio when you're driving and instantly you crank it up and start choreographing right on the spot. So for me, right now that song is Tonight by John Legend featuring Ludacris. Different from his typical love songs, the texture is smooth, sexy, and cocky on the sly. Reminiscent of the early 2000s, the groovy R&B beat creates space for both clean hits and continuous glides in combination with John's signature voice. It's definitely download worthy. Peel. In Fort Lauderdale, a 91-year-old retired dance teacher was sleeping peacefully in her home, only to awake to a burglar at her bedside. The man went for her throat, but despite her shock, the 90-pound lady sure put up a fight. She screamed, kicked, scratched at him, causing the intruder to flee the premises. Shortly after the incident, the victim was back at the dance studio regardless of her injuries. If we know anything about dancers, is that dance is their life no matter what happens, and that they can pack a lot lot of power into a Batma. And that's it. Next week, we will be reporting on Dancers Alliance latest event held right here in Hollywood. Lots of dance celebrities. You don't want to miss it. So you think you can dance season nine finalists compete one last time for America to vote their favorite guy and favorite girl. Until then, you guys don't forget to subscribe to our brand new YouTube channel and help get the word out. I will see you guys right here on Dance Plug. I'm Benjamin Allen saying peace and love.